friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial we will discuss how we can write a program to determine whether a given number is prime or not. To start off, let's open up the notepad and let's just start writing the program by welcoming the user. Welcome to the program to determine This also helps uh, the user when you try editing the program to see what the program really does. So here is a little mistake here. Okay, uh, let's end this. Okay, now let's uh, declare a few variables. That's dim prime and n. Now let's take the input from the user. C int input box. Enter the Quotes. All right. Now, if n is less than two, then message uh, not message box prime equals false. So this is a boolean function, a boolean variable. So this is not a prime number. Else, if n equals two, then prime equals true else for i equals we will start the count from 2 because 1 to 2 uh, whatever is less than 2 and equals to 2 is already being calculated now for i equals 2 2 n minus 1 if n mode so that's n mode i equals 0 then uh, that's my message box prime equals false once it becomes false there is no point in again reiterating it so we can just exit the loop that is exit exit for else prime equals true now we will end this if and we will end this next and then we will end the end if which is related to this if you want you can plug this here and all of this a little far so I use the tab key to move this for this is uh, the closure for this and this end if is a closure for this and here this is a closure over here I want to give a breakage here that's why now if prime equals true then then message box prime else message box number is not prime number is not prime and if just save this loop 33 Let's try playing this program. Welcome the program to that it reminds whether a number is prime or not. Enter the value for which you need to check. Let's just check one first. Number is not prime. Let's check two. Number is prime. Let's check 17. 17 is a prime number as we know. Try it again. That's number seventeen. It just gets minimized. I don't know why. Let's try it again. Mm. 
the number is 5 13 number is 5 so it's working perfectly now let's get back to the program and give you a little explanation so firstly as we have uh, always started out to, uh, our uh, program as a welcome message and then we have uh, just declared two variables that one is prime prime we have used uh, the prime variable as a boolean one over here and n is a simple integer variable and uh, as we have taken the value from the user the next thing we did is we checked whether the value is less than two if the value is less than two then obviously it's not uh, a prime number even one is not a prime number now if the value is equals to 2 then it's a prime number so I have uh, recorded prime as true here and prime as false over here so obviously if uh, the, the checking as, as you know if else if and else so either of the three uh, the our execution would be done on either of these three statements here so in this case if the number was 2 then obviously it goes to true and uh, it's shown over here that's uh, that's how the uh, the this particular statement works now else now in this else whatever that's below 2 and equals to 2 apart from that every other inputs go into this loop so for i equals 2 to n minus 1 then this particular number is being checked the reason why we have given n minus 1 would be explained in a short while so let's just consider that our uh, input was uh, maybe 7 so as you know 7 is uh, not less than 2 or equals to 2 obviously it comes over here now if 7 mod i equals to 0 that means 7 mod 2 equals to 0 it's not equal to 0 so it goes again over here comes here again so firstly it gets stored the pr it's a prime number as of now it gets stored as it's a prime number but it doesn't get out of the loop now it comes as 3 now 3 goes here 3 mode no 7 mode 3 is again it's not 0 so again the program stores the value the final value for prime as uh, as true and it just goes on till 6 so 7 mode 6 is still not 0 so still the program reads it as the prime number now the reason why I've given n minus 1 is because if it was 2 to n then it would have done 7 mode 7 and then it will be equal to 0 and then the program would read it as it's a false and it will exit 4 and uh, 7 would be shown as a not prime number uh, not a prime number so that's the reason I've given n minus 1 over here and that's how it works let's just consider 8 as our example so 8 denies all this and gets back over here so 8 mode 2 equals 0 so in the first test itself it fails so it says that uh, 7 8 mode 2 the remainder will be 0 so then prime equals false and then at the same moment it doesn't go for any further checking it just goes for exit 4 so it comes over here with the value for prime equals false that goes to the else and it shows that prime the number is not prime so that's how this program works I hope I uh, have used some two three uh, statements here together in this uh, program but it's not tricky it's it's not complicated or something it's a little tricky i hope you enjoyed these kind of uh, loopings and uh, could be used when you're programming for your uh, macro and db scripting i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and stay tuned